Hello and welcome to Nature Day's Outdoor Learning Resources, sponsored by the Gower Society. Now my challenge for you today is to try and find some frog spawn. Now this is the perfect time of year because the frog spawn are out there and if you are very careful, you could actually collect some and take some home and actually keep it and watch them turn into tadpoles. So where do you need to go? First of all, you need to find somewhere that's wet. Now frogs aren't very clever and they aren't very fussy as to where they're going to put their eggs. So it could be just a puddle on the side of the road, could be a pond, but it's usually quite a shallow piece of water. So have a look around and see if you can see the telltale sign of the bubbly bit on the top of the water that isn't flat and there's your frog spawn. If you just want to have a look at it, then yeah, bring a magnifying glass, have a really good look, see if you can see any of those telltale little tails that make those black dots look like little apostrophes that shows that they're developing into their tadpoles. If you see any which are darker grey that aren't so black, then they're probably dead. So if you do want to collect some, make sure they're the healthy ones that are black and the see-through outside is not opaque, so you can see through it very clearly and only take a very small amount. So I'm talking about a very small amount, maybe half of a small cup like that, because even if you've got a very large tank or a large bowl to put them in, if they've got high concentrations of tadpoles in a pond, then it means that there's not enough resources for them to survive. So they don't actually metamorphose. So if you do take a lot of them and put them into a small container or small pond, then you'll end up with just tadpoles and they'll never turn into frogs and eventually they'll just die. If you want to collect some, make sure you only collect a small amount. If you want to watch them, then you could just use a washing up bowl. You could bury it outside and make yourself an outdoor pond. Or if you've got a tank, again, you can leave it outside. What's important though is the water that you put in with the tadpoles or the frog spawn. So if you can use the pond water that you actually found the, the frog spawn in, that's perfect. Or you could collect some other pond water or some spring water from a river or rainwater. But please don't use any water from the tap because there's chemicals in there which will not be good for your tadpoles. Try and find a location where it's not going to be in direct sunlight because it will get very hot, especially if it's in a glass or a see-through container. And then literally our poor tadpoles or frog spawn will run out of air because the air will evaporate into the air as it gets warmer. And also you will actually start to kill your tadpoles because they'll get too hot. Once you've, your tadpoles have started to come out of their frog spawn, they'll start swimming around and then they'll need some food. So as frogs spawn, they're going to be feeding off that see-through jelly bit. But when they're tadpoles, they need to find food. And tadpoles are herbivores. So if you can find some plants in the pond where you found your tadpoles, that would be really useful to put into your pot. If not, once you're going for a little walk, see if you can find a pond, collect a few plants, especially if you can collect them with their roots, root them inside your pot, and then they'll have something to feed on will also be happy with anything green including lettuce, broccoli or baby spinach. If you rinse it and freeze it before you feed them they'll be very happy. Now the amazing thing about frogs and tadpoles is that not only are they doing an incredible outer total metamorphosis as they turn from that frog spawn into that tadpole and then into the frog, they're also changing internally. So when they're babies, when they're they have tadpoles, they are herbivores. So they've got a herbivore gut. When they start to grow legs, and they start to grow their back legs first, then their front legs, and then their, their tail starts to be absorbed, then their gut is also metamorphosing, so it's also transforming into a carnivore gut. So they stop being a herbivore and start being a carnivore. Because if you think of frogs, they eat flies, don't they? And that is an animal. So they are carnivores. So when you get to that stage, you need to start feeding your tadpoles, which have got legs, a carnivore diet. So tiny bits of ham, um, sometimes some cat food, tiny little bits of um, meat, um, fish as well, anything that's small and meaty, they would like. Bits of liver, they love that. However, when you put that in the water, if it doesn't get eaten, then it starts to get moldy and your water starts to get really yucky. So be careful, don't overfeed them. And if the water starts going horrible, clean it out, take your tadpoles out, put some new pond water in, and then put them back in and put in some fresh food. 
Now, once your tadpoles start to grow back legs and front legs and start to absorb their tails, not only is their gut turning into a carnivore gut, they're also turning from an aquatic species that lives in a pond to a terrestrial species that lives on the land. So they're starting to lose their gills and actually gain lungs. So they can't actually live underwater anymore which is a bit ironic really, because they were born there. So they need something so they can get to the surface. Now they will swim up to the surface, but if you've ever tried treading water, it's quite hard work. So try, once they've got legs, both legs, both sets of legs, fronts and back, try to provide them with a little platform, a little island so they can crawl out and just rest on there so they can get some air without having to swim all day. And then once they're completely formed into little froglets, you need to let them go because they do not live in a pond as a frog. People think that you'll find frogs in ponds, but you'll only find frogs in ponds when they're laying their eggs. Usually they go into damp woodlands or into damp areas around where there are ponds. So once you've got some fully fledged froglets, you need to make sure they can take leave of your pond. They can actually exit your pond. So put up a little ladder, put up a little bank so they can climb out and disappear and say goodbye. And you never know, if you leave your pond there for long enough, they might come back maybe in December or in autumn or winter and lay some eggs there again. Now, I will be doing another video to show you how to create your own pond in your garden, but just a plastic bowl at the moment is gonna be fine for your tadpoles. Now, if you do find any frog spawn, or if you do keep any tadpoles, then I'd love to see your photos, especially if you start to create some kind of storyboard or even a photo book of how they're developing over time. So please do share it on Facebook or on the Twitter feed with hashtag NatureDays. And I look forward to seeing you at our next NatureDays activity.